Provenge immunotherapy is a whole new treatment that was FDA approved approximately three years ago for the treatment of metastatic castrate resistant prostate cancer. What that means is this is treatment for men whose prostate cancer has spread to the lymph nodes or bones and they have previously been treated with hormonal therapy dropping their testosterone down to castrate levels and had been sensitive to that but now the prostate cancer has learned to grow without having hormonal therapy and, and their PSA is rising despite having castrate level testosterone. Immunotherapy is a unique way of treating cancer in that we are using your own immune cells or white blood cells, taking them out of your body in a process that's known as apheresis, where the white blood cells are extracted from your bloodstream, your red blood cells are put back into you. These white blood cells are then processed with a protein that's located on the surface of most prostate cancer known as prostatic acid phosphatase and a growth stimulant known as GMCSF. Your white blood cells and the GMCSF and the prostatic acid phosphatase are then grown together supercharging your immune cells. Three days after donating your white blood cells, they are infused back into you in an infusion that takes about one hour. This process is then repeated two weeks later and you receive a total of three infusions. The procedure is very well tolerated. You can experience chills, fatigue, low-grade fever, but overall is complete in about a month. The cells that are then put back into you can recruit your own immune cells or T lymphocytes, which can then go out and attack the cancer in your body. An important point about Provenge immunotherapy is that there's really no objective measure of how the treatment is working. And by that I mean men will not see a drop in their PSA normally. You won't see regression of metastatic sites seen on bone scan or CAT scan. But what we do know is that men who receive Provenge immunotherapy will have an overall survival increase of roughly 4.1 months. That's a 36% increase in a chance of living three years. So the procedure is very well tolerated and should be given, according to NCCN guidelines, as first-line treatment for men whose cancer is metastatic and has become castrate-resistant. Some prostate cancers are high-risk, aggressive, and more likely to spread. Others are low-risk, least likely to have bad outcomes. The biopsy says cancer, but current diagnostic tools provide limited information about how aggressive a man's individual disease is. So most men decide to treat prostate cancer immediately. Once treated, many men experience serious long-term side effects, like incontinence and sexual impotence. Immediate treatment isn't always needed, but right now a man can't be sure if his cancer is the kind that is likely to require treatment or if he's okay to wait for now. What if there was a test that could determine how aggressive prostate cancer is? Genomic Health is developing a new test to do just that. By reviewing the underlying biology of the tumor and using genes from multiple biologic pathways, the test can predict the aggressiveness of prostate cancer when diagnosed, allowing a man to make a more informed treatment decision with confidence taking care of himself with more information and greater peace of mind.